So today is the day we are launching the second round of Ladies Out Loud. We are launching a program here at Urban Promise in Camden this afternoon. So this is a new group of girls. They don't know anything about Ladies Out Loud. So we're going to come in and hopefully teach them some stuff about art and how you can use the arts to become better speakers. So Ladies Out Loud is this nonprofit we've created to uh, teach young women how to speak, uh, but through the arts. So uh, I'm representing comedy, Missy's representing improv, but also comedy. Letitia is spoken word and everything awesome. And Rachel is the uh, director of everything. So uh, today we are trying out um, what will become the basic um, gist of our curriculum. And so this is our first round draft of um, basically some writing prompts and some speaking prompts for the girls. So we're going to be giving these out to the program here at Urban Promise and let the girls try it and then give us feedback and then hopefully be finalizing um, what this all looks like so that we can franchise and people can do this around the country. We're all set and ready, but we have no girls. Is this them? Are they coming in now? public speak, but do you know why this is different? Have you guys ever taken a public speaking class? It is going to be all fun and trying to figure out how to have better speaking skills but through the arts. You guys are actually the second group that's ever done this. So if there are things that you like, let us know. If there are things that you hate, you do I don't like this at all. All right, so that's how it's going to go. program and they were awesome and I think they were scared out of their minds when they showed up um, but I think that you know the whole point of this program is to get them out of their comfort zone and to be silly and be funny and you know we had so many games improv games Missy did such a good job of just kind of loosening them up and then Letitia just your spoken word was so awesome I just really love was. it and I just think that uh, you know, being able to kind of give them options. I think that anybody's gonna be a great speaker when they're talking about something that they care about. So hopefully these girls will go back and either go through some of the options we gave them or find some options that really speak to them. And uh, and then we'll see them next week. We'll see how many of them show back up next right. week. Uh, that's really, I think that that's the thing is, uh, you can be scared out of your mind and still keep trying. And I think mm. that that's the best part. I'm super excited. Many thanks to all of the ladies here that are helping put this fabulous curriculum together. And we gotta go, because we have to have dinner, because we're gonna do it again tonight at seven o'clock with a whole new group of girls. So, we'll see ya. All right, if you're gonna volunteer for a free program, and you happen to pass by a chocolate store, that's God's way of saying, I shall pay you now. So, this is a fabulous chocolate place here in Merchantville, New Jersey, called Aunt Charlotte. And I have brought my kids here every year at Easter for them to pick out something special during Easter time. And then sometimes when I'm by myself, I come here and just buy chocolate for myself. My favorite thing about Aunt Charlotte's is they have all of these yummy candies and then a giant scale here for you to see how fat you are before and after you eat it. My favorite thing, which is dark chocolate covered nuts and chews. So we're gonna buy one for my mom, I'm gonna get one for us. But she said she's gonna gift wrap it even though it's for me. I love it here! <laughs> All right, thanks ladies, I'll see you next Tuesday. We're coming back every Tuesday. Thank you.